Deputy Speaker, I'm really pleased to rise in support of this motion moved by the member for Ford because sport, of course, is a great way of life on the Central Coast. And I'm pleased to report that the Turnbull government is actively contributing to also ensuring that we not just play sport in our community, but we have access to fantastic sporting infrastructure. For example, we've invested $3.5 million in the major redevelopment of Woi Woi Oval, which is also being funded by the New South Wales government Clubs New South Wales Grants and Gosford City Council. The government's also working with council by investing more than $300,000 in a vital upgrade to McAvoy Oval, Oval at Umina Beach. And we've also delivered on two other projects that were part of our positive growth plan for the Central Coast. Brendan Franklin Oval at Terrigal now has improved drainage and lighting thanks to $100,000 funding from the federal government. And a $40,000 commitment to better lighting at Carryong Oval has also been delivered. But Mr Speaker, these upgrades aren't uh, much good at all without the people who actually use them all the time. And it's at this time of year that we're preparing to start and end seasons in sport like football, cricket, rugby league, rugby union, athletics, netball, baseball, basketball and many more, including even gridiron, Mr Deputy Speaker. With news last month that the National Gridiron League has added the Central Coast Cyclones to the upcoming competition. The Central Coast Academy of Sport, led by, the, by a passionate, experienced mentor, Ian Rebilliad, is one of the leading organisations in this area. But today we're focusing particularly on football, especially the positives that this sport delivers to families and community in our community. As the member for Ford has noted, the round ball game is played by more than 1.18 million people in Australia and is the most popular sport among children of both genders. Much of this is driven at a grassroots level by the local football clubs that are the backbone of our communities, including 10 clubs in my electorate. In fact, uh, I make a disclosure, Mr Deputy Speaker. My son, Oscar, has signed up for the first time for the East Gosford Rams to play in the under-sevens for the upcoming season. So yeah, yeah. may I extend my best wishes to his... I finally get to be a football mum, <laughs> soccer mum. May I extend my best wishes to everyone at uh, East Gosford Rams and all clubs in my electorate, including the Avoca Sharks, Terrigal United, Gosford City Dragons, Carryong United Cougars, the King Cumber Roos, Mountain District Football Club, Southern and Etalong United, Yamina United Eagles and the Woi Woi Roosters Football Club. Many of our clubs also link up with local schools where there are a series of programs such as the Sporting Schools Initiative with an objective to reach children who not, may not normally choose to play sport and get them involved as well. 14 schools in my, in my electorate ran this program, including in suburbs such as Peets Ridge, King Cumber, Empire Bay and Gosford. And I have no doubt that the success of these programs and many others is in, no way, is in many ways enhanced by the community focus and leadership of the mighty Central Coast Mariners and, of course, the A-League. Our Mariners have got a proud reputation and record, and as a dedicated member of this great club, I can say it's a truly unique feeling being part of the crowd at Central Coast Stadium, and it's not just the on-field action. Every game, thousands of people seem to leave the ground with, with great memories of our palm trees, Brisbane water, the beautiful Brisbane water in the backdrop, the trumpets of the Yellow Army and singing with some of the best fans in the league. So may I, may I place on record my appreciation to the CEO, Sean Mellicamp, coach Tony Wormsley, captain Nick Montgomery and the entire playing squad and their staff. And also to Laurie McKinna, now Mayor of Gosford City Council, whose legacy as coach will never be forgotten. I met with Sean Millicamp last week, who spoke about the club's values and vision. The signing of Spanish legend Luis Garcia has also shown the ambition that this club has, and I'm confident there are many great successes to come. Finally, Mr Deputy Speaker, I'd like to end with a call to action for clubs in my electorate. Many will know about the death of Mickey Dean, who recently died of a heart attack while playing football, which was a game that he really loved. He was only 47. I've spoken in this place before about Mickey, taken all too suddenly from his family and community. But since then, working with family and the club, Southern and Etalong United, we've developed a petition in support of seeing defibrillators installed to provide to clubs on the Central Coast. While, in, uh, while a defibrillator may not have helped in Mickey's case, they dramatically increased the chances of survival for sudden cardiac arrest if applied quickly. Central Coast football and men of football on the Central Coast have already pledged their support to this important cause. And I'm pleased to report that we've got uh, more than 100 locals who have signed this petition in clubs uh, around the electorate. So I encourage others this coming football season to get behind this very important cause and add their voice to those who have already signed our petition to demonstrate the strength of support for this important piece of vital life-saving equipment for our clubs 
um, in our sports-loving community on a 